Music creation goes hand in hand with how we value ourselves. For the better part of last year, we've just been struggling for inspiration to write. Pushing past stagnation has always been one of the greatest challenges for musicians. And I feel like this could be the solution we need. I never really told people I was from Sarawak. I guess I was sort of ashamed or perhaps a little bit embarrassed. You know, when I was younger, all I wanted to do was to escape to, you know, Los Angeles or New York. No one knew where Sarawak was, so really there was nothing to brag about. I've heard so much about Sarawak, but I've never been here. And coming to such a unique, interesting place and seeing how the people live, it really gives me a lot of perspective on where Morgan's coming from. I feel like I understand him much more as a person. One of the reasons why we're doing this is because we felt not excited anymore. I don't feel like we want to do anything, not even want to write music, and I think that's probably unhealthy. I need to find the joy in, in what I'm doing. After a few early years in Vietnam, I moved to Australia and have been there for basically my whole life. In the Longhouse, it's such an incredibly different lifestyle. It's an amazing community. Everything is shared and enjoyed together all the time. Seeing the old men sit around in a circle drinking with each other, singing to the songs late into the night, was a really nice reminder that everywhere you go, music is this universal language. Going to LA just seemed to be the most freeing thing, but now coming back here seeing this again is the complete opposite of claustrophobic. I almost just want to be here for a while. I was, I was one of the kids that was trying so hard to be non-conforming. I remember telling my friends, no, I don't want to tattoo. You know, I, I don't want to be, quote unquote, part of the system. It seems like in the Western culture, getting a tattoo is a way of differentiating yourself from the others. But when I was younger, I saw it as the opposite. So I wanted to reconnect with the identity that I spent my entire life trying to peel away from. Getting my tattoo and just being back here with a fresh perspective is a way of coming to terms to accept where I came from. I think on average, Morgan's probably more risk-taking and I'm more risk-averse. That balance is actually quite perfect. Being here is teaching me to live just a little bit by the hour. For someone who's trying to get inspiration and be creative, I think knowing and learning how to go with the flow is a really useful skill. I've been caving before, but never like fairy cave. The initial idea before setting out to the cave was just to go out and capture some ambient sounds. But we thought we're all the way out here, so why not try something radically different than what we were used to? We wanted to be able to recreate the sonic character of the cave digitally so that we're later able to put any sound through it. Okay, recording. Ready, clip. Being out in this part of the world and recording the sounds here is gonna be immensely useful uh, when we get back to the studio. Direct line should be possible, yeah. Let me just throw this there. These are some sounds that you really can't find anywhere else 
it's amazing to be there firsthand recording it with the dirt and the grid of the background noise of what's around. There's birds from the jungle, water flowing, and all that texture, I think, ties into the, the life of the sound. We're not about making clean, crisp, studio quality stuff. We want to remind you and take you to the place where it was recorded. And I really hope that the stuff we, we recorded here will evoke that, that feeling when people listen to it. Not making a waterfall was a result of many variables. One thing Fletcher and I struggle with the most is constantly living in the future. We set a goal for ourselves that might sometimes be unachievable, and even if we get there, we spend a total of six seconds celebrating it, and then we're on to the next one. It's been almost a decade since I last saw that place, and not being able to swim in the waters again just set a really shitty tone for the day. Failure is a tough pill for us to swallow. I think it showed us that we needed to learn how to deal with failure a little bit better. I think everything in life is connected. These physical real world things that we're doing set up mental pathways that we can take back to the studio and, and apply to the process of writing music. When we're writing, we listen to the same things over and over again thousands of times and you really lose perspective over what's good. You find yourself asking, is this exciting or is it too safe? I think it's really important to learn where to draw the line because if you don't learn that, you may never push yourself far enough. Speaking to Fletch in this trip where we're completely out of our comfort zone, I, we're, I think we're ready to go back into this EP and have a carefree attitude and just write from experience and not write with a formula that we think we've created for ourselves. Just being, being psyched that we could write music and, and, and share that with the world. The prospect of our music being listened to by people all over the world in situations so far removed from our own is really exciting. Music seems to transcend borders and everyone who listens to it has their own wonderfully unique experience. And that really is the magic of it all.